Hey, it's Ron Trucks again with BusinessAtlas.com. Let's get started with this lesson. We finished talking about transactions in the last lesson, and we said they were events that occur that affect your company financially that need to be tracked. So now the question comes up, how do we organize ourselves so that we can keep track of them systematically? To do that, we need to realize that all of those different areas we need to keep track of basically fall into five different groups. So let's learn about those groups first. To get us started, let's remember that a company is a separate entity. That entity owns stuff. Maybe not a lot at first, but they all own something usually in the beginning. Perhaps the owner puts something into the business to get it started. Usually that's something, some cash, maybe a lot, maybe a little. Keep in mind for us, cash doesn't have to be paper money. It can be fun sitting in a checking account. It can be fun sitting in an electronic account like PayPal. Sometimes what the owner puts in may not even be cash. It may be a computer or an oven or a sewing machine, or it may just be ingredients or supplies to make something. But the company now owns whatever the owner has invested to get it started. And here's the thing. Even if nothing was invested, as soon as it sells anything, it now has something to own, the money that was earned. Perhaps you've just got an idea on how to coach someone and you invest no actual money or equipment. As soon as your first sale is made, the company now owns the proceeds from the sale. And I said the company owns it because remember, we're setting it up as a separate entity. Whatever the company owns is called its assets. We're going to dig deeper into what assets are in an upcoming lesson, but for right now, let's just go with they're the things the company owns. So if we add the value of all of the assets up in our imaginary company, Let's say the company owns $10,000 in assets and the sole proprietor owns the entire company. Then we can say that he or she owns a company worth $10,000. The value of all the assets combined must equal who owns it. So everything the company owns is owned by the owner. The assets equal the owner's equity. Equity means ownership for us. However, if the business owes anyone anything, we can't say that the owner owes all $10,000 of the business. At some point, we're going to have to take some of our assets, usually cash, and pay off those debts that we owe. Those amounts that we owe to other people or other companies are called liabilities. And the people or the companies that we owe it to are called creditors. So now if we take the value of everything the company owns, its assets, we can say that all of it is now owned by someone either the assets that are going to need to get paid to the creditors first, and then the rest is owned by the owner. So with that in mind, our equation becomes assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity. And that is a very important formula in bookkeeping. So important that it's actually called the fundamental accounting equation. It's important because every transaction you record has to keep the equation in balance. Remember when we talked about transactions and we said everything has to balance each other, this is why. If the company's assets go up on the left side of the equation, then the right side has to go up somewhere. So, so far we've talked about three of the five different groups, assets, liabilities, and equity. And we've discussed how they have to always stay in balance with each other. Here's where the other two come in. If the company sells something and brings in some money, which is an asset, then the value of what the owner owns in the company goes up. The company's worth more, so there's more for the owner to own. Another way to think about it is there's more assets and they have to be owned by someone. Likewise, if the company spends money on something, let's say advertising or a trip to the moon, then the value of the company goes down. The company's worth less, so there's less for the owner to own. And here's what that means. When money's earned and the company has more of it, then we have income, sometimes also called revenue, and that affects the owner's equity. Likewise, if the company buys advertising, that's called an expense, and it also affects the owner's equity. So there you have it, the five major types of ways we group our different activities. Assets, liabilities, owner's equity, income, and expenses. Thanks for checking out this lesson. We have lots more information and other videos on our channel. Check them out or hit subscribe to find out more.